Acute inflammation. The acute inflammation is initial response in vascularizes tissue to injury, achieved by delivers leukocytes and plasma proteins to sites of injury. So this definition has three main points. 1. Initial response in vascularized tissue. 2. Response to injury. 3. Delivers leukocytes and plasma proteins to sites of injury. In acute inflammation we can see five cardinal signs. Rubber or redness. Tumor or swelling. Color or heat. Dola or pain. Functionalisar or loss of function. Stimuli for acute inflammation. Acute inflammatory reactions may be triggered by a variety of stimuli. Examples are infections such as bacteria, virus, fungal and parasitic agents, physical agents, like cold, heat and radiation, chemical agents, such as organic and inorganic poisons, tissue necrosis, because of ischemia, physical and chemical injury, foreign bodies, examples are splinters, dirt, sutures and crystal deposits, immune reactions against environment substance or self-tissue, Everything begin with our body cells are recognize, potentially harmful things, for that use two main receptors they are. Toll-like receptors and Iflamosome. Acute inflammation has two major components. Vascular changes and Cellular events. Vascular events and acute inflammation. Vascular changes can divide to two major parts. Increase in vascular flow and caliber. Increase vascular permeability. Both these mechanisms designed to bring more blood cells and proteins to site of injury. Increase in vascular flow and caliber. Increase in vascular flow and caliber is initiate rapidly after infection or injury. Vasoconstriction, lasting only 4 seconds. Vasodilation, resulting in locally increased blood flow and engorgement of the downstream capillary beds. Microvasculature more permeable, so protein-rich fluid moves into extravascular tissues. Increase blood viscosity, slowing the circulation. As stasis develops, the leukocytes begin to accumulate along the vascular endothelial. Increase vascular permeability. Increasing vascular permeability leads to the movement of protein-rich fluid and even blood cells into the extravascular tissues. Therefore, increase the osmotic pressure of the interstitial fluid. Result is outflow more water from blood to tissues. This protein-rich accumulation called as exudate. Several mechanisms help to increase vascular permeability in acute inflammatory reactions. 1. Contraction endothelial cells. Leading to intercellular gaps in post-capillary venules is the most common cause of increased vascular permeability. Endothelial cell contraction occurs rapidly after binding of histamine, bradykinin, leukotrienes, and many other mediators to specific receptors. 2. Endothelial injury. Results in vascular leakage by causing endothelial cell necrosis and detachment. Endothelial cells are damaged after severe injury such as with burns and some infections. 3. Increase transcytosis. Transcytosis occurs through channels formed by fusion of intracellular vesicles. 4. Leakage from new blood vessels. New blood vessel sprouts remain leaky until proliferating endothelial cells mature sufficiently to form intercellular junctions. So these vascular events helps to transport plenty of leukocytes to site of injury. Cellular events in acute inflammation. An important function of the inflammatory response is to deliver leukocytes to the site of injury and to activate them. Leukocytes normally flow rapidly in the blood, and in inflammation, they have to be stopped and brought to the offending agent or the site of tissue damage, which are typically outside the vessels. Recruitment of leukocytes from the vascular lumen to the extravascular space consists of 1. Margination and rolling along the vessel wall. 2. Firm adhesion to the endothelium. 3. 
transmigration between endothelial cells call as diapodesis. 4. Migration in interstitial tissues, toward a chemotactic stimulus call as chemotaxis. Margination Margination is the process of leukocyte accumulation at the periphery of vessels. As blood flows from capillaries into post-capillary venules, circulating cells are swept by laminar flow against the vessel wall. Because the smaller red cells tend to move faster than the larger white cells, leukocytes are pushed out of the central axial column and thus have a better opportunity to interact with lining endothelial cells. Due to inflammation this axial blood flow was disrupted, margination happened. Rolling Rolling mean leukocytes attach loosely to endothelial cells, bind, and detach and thus begin to tumble on the endothelial surface. Rolling is mediated by family of protein or adhesion molecules called selectins their three types as E-selectin, P-selectin and L-selectin. E-selectin can found in endothelium cells. P-selectin can found in endothelium cells and platelets. L-selectin can found in leukocyte surface. The endothelial selectins are typically expressed at low levels or are not present at all on unactivated endothelium. When inflammation process start, at the site of injury release cytokines like TNF and interleukin-1. So those cytokines act on endothelial cells, so endothelial cells expressed adhesion molecules on surface. So this binding interaction with low affinity, main cause for rolling. Adhesion this adhesion is mediated by, intergrins expressed on leukocyte cell surfaces interacting with their ligands, on endothelial cells. Normally intergrins in low affinity state, during inflammation chemokines are produced and they bind with endothelium cells. Then activate endothelial cells to increase their expression of ligands for intergrins. So the net result of cytokine stimulated increased intergrin affinity and increased expression of intergrin ligands is stable attachment of leukocytes to endothelial cells. Transmigration or diapedesis Transmigration mean leukocytes migrate through endothelium, through gap between endothelium cells. Migration of leukocytes is driven by chemokines produced in extravascular tissues, which stimulate movement of the leukocytes toward their chemical gradient. After passing through the endothelium, leukocytes secrete collagenases that enable them to pass through the vascular basement membrane. Chemotaxis Chemotaxis mean locomotion oriented along a chemical gradient. Both exogenous and endogenous substances can be chemotactic for leukocytes such as Bacterial agents Cytokines Components of complement system those chemotactic molecules bind to specific cell surface receptors. The direction of such movement is specified by a higher density of chemokine receptors at the leading edge of the cell. Induce polymerization of actin in the leading edge. Phagocytosis Phagocytosis mean engulfed and destroy solid materials. Consist of three steps. 1. Recognition and attachment of the particle to the ingesting leukocyte. 2. Engulfment, with subsequent formation of a phagoidic vacuole, and 3. Killing and degradation of the ingested material. Leukocytes bind and ingest most microorganisms and dead cells by means of specific surface receptors. Some of these receptors recognize components of the microbes and dead cells and other receptors recognize host proteins, called opsonins. Opsonin mean antibody or other substance which binds to foreign microorganisms or cells making them more susceptible to phagocytosis. For more videos please subscribe my channel. And if you like design this like video for you contact me. Also you can be my pattern and help me more creations.